not dumb and we are going through this series, you know, reaching out to the young ones of this generation. I'm going to read out of Matthew chapter 26 and verse um, 34. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the, cro the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, <clears throat> Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. This is one of the saddest days for um, Peter. Uh, Peter is, is just saying to the Lord something, and he's telling the Lord how wonderful, how he's going to serve him, how he's going to be with him all forever. And the Lord sadly looks at him and he says, you know what, Peter, you're saying a lot of stuff, but let me tell you what, you will deny me tonight before the rooster sings. In fact, another gospel tells them the rooster sang twice. And he said, you will going to deny me three times. And Peter hears that and he says, no way. Even if I die, I will not deny you. And all the disciples say the same. But of course, Peter is the face of that whole problem. It, he actually did it. That very night, not too long after he had said, I will die for you, he ran away and denied the Lord. Denied him sadly. He, he, he denied that he even knew him. What a terrifying thing. What a change of event. But why is it a rooster, the one who does this? It is no accident. See, roosters are very choy. You can hear them in the night when they're marking the night or the morning. You can hear them. You, you, you can see them when they are pretending like they're going to fight and their feathers come up. When they're trying to conquer a female. I mean all of these things. So the Lord chose that animal to sing in the ears of Peter. That day everybody heard him. But Peter heard him differently. Peter heard him as a sign of the fact that he was all noise. That there was a lot of talking. A lot of you know, prancing. A lot of pretending in the life of Peter. Peter was a loud mouth. Peter stood up and said a lot of things, and he, he, he like that rooster would do it. It's not accident that it was a rooster that marked him. He had to understand, you are like a rooster. You show up a lot, you say a lot, but you don't follow through, Peter. Thank God that God allowed him, because when he heard it, he cried, he went, and he wept, knowing that God had through that rooster told him, you're just like a rooster, Peter. You're just like a rooster. You just speak a lot. You say a lot. But right now you're telling me you're going to die for me. And tonight you're going to deny me three times. Just like that rooster. You make a lot of noise. I'm asking the, the, the question that is profound here. You know, youth have that tendency, you know, of going to a youth camp and getting all excited. But a month from now saying, ah, I don't even want to go to church. And everybody in church is a hypocrite. You know, they go to a service and, or a series of services and something happens and they get all emotional. Ah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then all of a sudden, you know, a couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, eh, okay, eh, you cannot even drag them into church. Like Peter and like that rooster, a lot of noise, but not necessarily a real pursuit of God. It doesn't mean that there's nothing inside of you. It just means that the excitement only going to keep you for some time. Why am I saying that? Because Peter did turn his life around. Thank God. God did give him a chance to repent from that. And he became the first great leader of the church. Peter did. This man that denied the Lord that was like a rooster had to change the, the, his heart after that bitterness of what he did and cried before the Lord and the Lord transformed him. So I pray that you learn from the rooster, that you learn not to just be a mouth and an excitement. Excitement is good and saying words are good. I'm not saying not to do them. But what I'm saying is follow through with the things that God desires in your heart that you may do what you need to do, that the Lord will not look you in the eye and say, you know what, you sound all that good, but tonight, tomorrow, next week, you're not going to want to do anything with me. I pray that you learn from the rooster and that every time you listen to a rooster, you listen to, you remember what I'm saying and what Peter went through, saying be more than a rooster. Be one who follows through and does what God tells you. Stay the course and keep on going. Even when you just have to drag yourself into the presence of God, drag yourself into church. Keep on going. Be young, but not dumb. God bless you.